and a happy Monday. It's the 21st day of February. Today is also President's Day, meaning that we celebrate the lives of all U.S. presidents, but we usually celebrate Washington's birthday and Lincoln's birthday. Uh, Lincoln's birthday, of course, was February the 12th. And of course, he was the president during the U.S. Civil War back in the 1860s. And of course, George Washington was the first president of the United States. His birthday is tomorrow. Officially, his birthday is tomorrow. But yeah, it's always observed in the third Monday in February, and it is a federal holiday. And a lot of people have the day off work, and some people have three-day weekends in school. Yeah, so it is a federal holiday as we honor all presidents of the past. Well, including uh, Franklin Roosevelt, of course, he served president during World War II, and he was the only president that had more than two terms. And after his fourth term, he died in office, and then Harry Truman took over. And then there was a new, there was a new law saying that you're only allowed to have two terms. Yeah, of course, Truman took over, well, during World War II in Korea, and then Eisenhower, then JFK, and Lyndon Johnson, of course, was our president during uh, Vietnam, and then Richard Nixon. Also, Richard Nixon is the only president born in California. And many presidents are former governors and former vice presidents as well. Yeah. Yeah, then, then Nixon resigned and then it was Gerald Ford's turn. Then Jimmy Carter, who is the oldest living president at the moment, he's 97 years old. Jimmy Carter and then of course Reagan and of course George Bush Sr. and Jr. and of course Clinton and Obama. And uh, also, um, well, the Team LeBron beat Team Durant 163-160, to 160, and Steph Curry was the All-Star Game MVP. Yeah. And the 75th anniversary, of course, is the diamond anniversary of the NBA, and we celebrated 75 All-Stars of all time. But it really, it was a bittersweet feeling when we saw Kobe's name up there, and we all cheered and we saw Kobe's widow there at the game and it was just a, a pretty sight. And of course, current Lakers, LeBron were there, but we saw Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook as well. And of course, Kawhi Leonard was there, even though he hasn't played a game. And of course, former finals MVPs, James Worthy was there, so was Magic and Kareem, and also uh, Isaiah Thomas, of course, Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan was there in spirit as well, and of course, Big Shaq, and Dwayne Wade, and Paul Pierce was there. And Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah. All part of the 75th anniversary of the NBA. And yes, um, Team LeBron is 5-0. and But I thought the West versus East was a little better. It really made more sense. But... Yeah, well, let's en enjoy this... Uh, it was a, lo a lot cooler yesterday with temperatures in the mid 60s and we were supposed to get some rain, but it's, I don't think it's gonna rain, but. Um, well, yes, yeah, so a happy birthday going out to Alan Trammell and to Franklin Gutierrez and to Joel Skinner. Um, and to Jennifer Love Hewitt. Um, well, have a good rest of your Monday, and I'll catch you later. Peace.